Hey friends, in this tutorial video, I just wanted to show you a little, uh, some of the CSS, these CSS trickery from our friends over at Polypane. Uh, and we can add these styles, all of these cool styles to blog images. And you see there's like little effects as you hover over them and stuff. And we're going to put those onto our blogs and images on Squarespace. That's what I'm gonna play around with today. I found, uh, I was sent uh, this link, this page, through the CSS Tricks newsletter. If you're not signed up for that, definitely would recommend signing up for that at cssstricks.com, css-tricks, if you don't know it. Um, and Polypane is just a software that helps you test uh, different browsers, your website on different browsers and stuff. So there's a little disclosure about where all this came from. None of this is my code. I'm just going to show you how to put this into Squarespace. So let's just let's jump right into it. So over here, here is our the Squarespace page that I've I've built here. I'm going to close our web inspector. And you see here's just some random like a blog that I've I've built and then here's just an image block. And we're going to apply these styles to that. I'll put all of these on my website too. So or I'll put a link to this on my website so you can use them. I'll put the selectors. I don't want to copy their code. Uh, but here we go. So the first thing we want to do is we need to be able to select the image element. So that's the first thing. We need to target this image element. So any code that we're applying goes directly to this. So I'm just going to pull up my web inspector. Uh, you can right click and hit inspect if you want. That'll pull this up. Uh, or command option I on a Mac that pulls it up for me and then hit my elements tab and then you have all of our CSS styles that are being applied to the selected element right there. So I'm going to grab our selector and hover over our image. Now you're going to see this elements tag pull over to these are all of the this is the element and all the HTML associated with what I just clicked on and you see what so we have our image element but there's usually containers, especially an image element when they're built in Squarespace or most other websites, an image is usually within a larger container and that's just good practice that you want to do because it allows you, gives you a lot more flexibility and ability to manipulate the image. Uh, so we're going to go up one level and find the parent. So we got this summary thumbnail. Now let's just see if we've targeted the right thing. So I'm going to copy this, copy this entire CSS class right there, summary thumbnail and image wrapper. I'm just gonna paste it in right there. Since both of these are classes, they're within the class attribute, I'm gonna put a dot there. And then no space because they're on the same element. You'll have a space if I was doing summary thumbnail and then something on this image because that would have been within. But these are on the same element, so no space. And then opening and closing brackets. And then let's add uh, let's just add maybe a border, a border solid. We'll just say solid. There we go. So you can see the border pops up. We know we've selected the right element. Now it's very simple. All we do is go over here and just copy that code. Hit the copy CSS button if you want. That's a fun little animation and paste it in and then just replace. This is going to make our whole website because our whole website's built with a ton of these divs. So I'm going to remove that selector we don't need that and then copy this selector delete all of that and then place it right here at the beginning let's see if that works there we go so that is the first one and now the rest is very simple all we need to do is replace everything within these brackets to whatever we want here so there's this one sort of move sideways i'm going to copy all of that not the div and paste it right here and let's see what that one looks like Cool, and now you see as I hover over it, there's a little like slight animation. My favorite was the one was down here though. Let's see if I can find it again. Um, this guy's a good one. I think this is it. This is these. There's so many cool animations here. This one's my favorite though, right there at the bottom. Definitely check them all out. I'm gonna come over here. We'll paste this in. And that's really cool. And you just hover over it and it kind of like pops out right there. That's really, really neat. I like that. But this isn't happening to this image. So let's find a way to target this image. So let's do the same thing. Let's look at our code, grab my little selector element, click on what I want to target. And you see it hit the image overlay. Now, 
these CSS classes can be whatever, they're almost like variables. You can write whatever you want and then you just use CSS to target them and then write properties for it. But Squarespace has done a good job of being very clear with what these might be, be connected to. So this is the image overlay. So this will control the overlay on top of the image. So we don't really want to select that. We have our image element, but again, like I said earlier, these are typically contained within other elements and that's what you want to target. So we have this inset. So why don't we try this, this image, this image inset right there. Do, do, do. Gonna copy this whole thing and let's just put dot since it's a class, paste that in, and then just give it a border of solid again. Let's see, okay, so there we go, so that worked. So now all I'd want to do, I'm just gonna copy that selector, again, This just this image inset, delete all of that, and I'm gonna do a comma, and then paste that in, there we go. So here's another thing to, now we know that this works, however, we need to know, are, is this going to apply globally? We don't want this maybe to apply to every single image on our website. Maybe we've picked a selector, but it also applies to our site image if we have like a, a site title image up here, and we wouldn't want it to apply to that. So let's look through the code to find what else can we add here to make it only work with just our image block. So we're looking for some piece of code, some class in here that refers to an image block. So I'm gonna scroll up and you see right here in our figure right there. So that probably looks, this first one, Squarespace block image figure. That's probably something that we could use that would be specific just to our image blocks. So I'm gonna copy that paste it in front because this is a parent element of this guy, the image inset, which we grabbed. So I'm gonna paste it there, add a dot because it's a class, and it's not working because we need a space. A space is just the combinator that says, this is the parent and this is a descendant of the parent, not necessarily a direct descendant, but a descendant of this parent element. So there we go. Hope that's a fun little tutorial. Play around with all of these, these truly beautiful CSS 3D transformation things. They're really fun to, to play around with. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like, if this was helpful to you, I'm building an entire CSS course. Just sign up for my newsletter. You'll learn more about it there. Uh, but I'd go over all of this and way more, help you understand how to build websites and code things and Squarespace and just understand CSS more generally if you care. Uh, I hope this, let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helps. Subscribe, do all the, do all the YouTube stuff. Take it easy.